Riviera was for some time also home to other canoe clubs, including the Rudder Grange Club. Rudder Grange was the best known of the refreshment rooms and boat hiring establishments on the Fairfield part of the Yarra in the years between the wars. Like most sections of the Yarra Valley, this area was heavily timbered in the 19th century. But such was the demand for building materials and firewood in the young colony, gangs of timber getters had cleared most of the useful strands of eucalypt by the late 1840s. In their place, farms began to appear. The present site of the western end of the Latrobe golf course was being used for grazing by the turn of the century. The first boat shed on the riverbank in this stretch of the Yarra was at Marriott's Landing at the river end of Alfington Street, Fairfield. Marriott also owned the only house in the street at this time, on the present site of number 23 Alfington Street. An early ferry operating from Studley Park would pull in at Marriott's Landing before the return journey downstream. In 1904, E.D. Cook and family erected an adjacent landing at the river end of Alfington Street to accommodate more boats from Studley Park and had added tea rooms by 1910. Floods in 1911 convinced Cook to re-establish his refreshment rooms on higher ground. The new two-storey cafe completed at Rudder Grange the following year. Boating on the Yarra continued its upward curve in popularity during the First World War years and after, and the Cook's business flourished accordingly. Ground improvements were also made, with a pond and ornamental fountain added in 1915 and occupying pride of place in the Rudder Grange Gardens. Much of this was washed away during the Great Flood of 1934 and the restored building and grounds acquired in 1938 by new owner Carl Sirak never quite recovered their pre-flood splendour. Rudder Grange was also affected by a series of lesser floods during the 1950s and while the boat building business established by Sirac continued during this period under the next owner, when he sold out in 1959, its fate was effectively sealed. The main building was mooted as a potential artist's recluse for a time, but it was eventually declared derelict and demolished in 1963 by order of the Heidelberg Council. Few remnants of Rudder Grange's glory days survive, and even the readily identifiable red gum canoe tree near the landing is now in danger of being lost as well. Little film record of the various activities at Rudder Grange has been located, but the boat ramp features in the charming short film Swinging Down the Lane, made by prolific amateur filmmaker Alan Brezhnehan. Shot in Alvington in December 1950, the opening sequence featuring Alan was filmed by his wife Elsie. The approach by his young daughter Faye is the cue for a bad pun. Alan succumbs to the request nevertheless, opens the back gate on Perry Street and waves goodbye as he watches her head off. Faye meets a friend in Margaret Grove and together they make their way through Coat Park towards the Rudder Grange shop to buy an ice cream cone each. The remainder of the film shows the girls exploring the Coat Park area and to incorporate views of the Rudder Grange landing, a section of Yarrabend Park on the opposite bank of the river. The film also includes shots of several local landmarks. The Chandler Highway Bridge is seen from the riverbank. The Fairfield Pipe Bridge. A longer shot, filmed from an elevated vantage point known as the Rotunda in Fairfield Park, tilts up to the distant towers of what is now the Willsmere Estate and the Fairfield Hospital, filmed from the same location. This small slice of semi-urban life in 1950 has become, more than 50 years later, a valuable film record of a simpler, less hurried time. Other filmmakers have more explicitly sought to frame their stories of childhood in the context of a river journey, 
And with its range of prominent landmarks and stunning scenery, the Yarra has served them well in this regard. Prominent Australian film writer-director Tim Burstall 